one. It is Arika Misha. And y'all know where I'm at. Y'all already know where your girl at. In the Le Kitchen. And today we will be cooking. I have some instant rice. I will be cooking some dirty rice. That's right. That's what we call it. Dirty rice. That rice gonna be so dirty. Ooh. My rice be dirty rice. Mm, mm, mm. Wait till y'all see it. All right, we got the cheese here. We got the noodles here. Y'all know what that means. We're going to be cooking some macaroni and cheese. I've been craving my macaroni and cheese. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and cook that. All right, and we got some Publix Elbow macaroni uh, noodles. We got the Mal Chitta Sargento cheese. Some really good cheese, by the way. I love Sargento cheese. Um, and we got the Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce to be the sweet baby rice yes you know what Kraft has a really good barbecue sauce too don't get it twisted now Kraft's on is really really good but uh sweet baby rays definitely my number one pick all right and the start of the show we are gonna have for our meat we are going to have a barbecue grilled steak yes Ooh, y'all know I'm bringing it in. It's been marinating all night long. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm a y'all gonna see how I'm gonna cook it. I ain't even gonna tell y'all. But yes, I was in the mood for a nice grilled steak and some barbecue sauce with my macaroni and cheese and my daddy rice. I ain't say dirty. I said daddy, daddy rice. That's spelled D U D Y, daddy. Ooh, that's a filthy right. The devil is a lie. All right, y'all. Let go. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and get my steak in the oven. I've got my Gotham pan. Y'all already know I love me some Gotham. They have really good cookware. Y'all know this ain't sponsored. I'm just letting y'all know. And if y'all have watched my previous videos, Gotham, it's Gotham for me. I like their cookware. Spraying my pan. With my old faithful canola uh, public cooking spray. Uh, let me put that out the way. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead. Wait a minute. I got to take a picture for the gram. Hold on, y'all. I got to get my phone. Where is my phone? Lord. I'll hold it. All right, y'all. Hold on. Get my phone because I want to take a picture. Take a picture of our Gotham pan here. Y'all getting the behind the scenes action. Behind the scene action. Let me get this way. It's upside down. Let me see. Oh, Gotham. Come on, bring the gold. Okay. I'm telling y'all. Should I get in these Instagram pictures be a hot mess sometimes? Alright, so we got that picture. Okay. I just need that picture for Instagram. So, alright, so let's get our steak laid out. And these are some really big steaks that I got, y'all. Look at these steaks. Nice. And I already tenderized my steak to death. I don't like tough steak, so I done tenderized my steak to death. I'm telling y'all. I tenderized this steak so much it's already falling apart. So I'm just gonna lay it in my big giant Gotham pan because these are some really huge steaks, as y'all can see. Really huge. So, and my little leftover goodness down in there, we're gonna add a little water. I've already got my oven preheated to 350. We're gonna add a little water. Switch that around so we get all our stuff we pay for. Switch that around. And I'm just going to pour it right there in the middle of my pan. And I'm just going to move that around and make sure I got a little liquid down in my pan. Don't want to cook in a dry pan. Got to have some kind of juices in there with your steak. I mean, but you know what? The thing about it is these steaks, um... They produce their own juices anyway, but not too much juice. But anyway, yeah, I usually add a little bit of liquid, a little bit of water to the bottom of my pan. We already got that oil down in there. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get these babies in the oven. Um, I'm gonna see how long it takes because these are really thick steaks, so there is no time. You just gotta see how you know your steak cook up. So let me get these in the oven. I'm gonna set my timer for about 15 minutes and see how that do. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Moving on to I think I'm gonna move on to the dirty rice or the mac and cheese. We'll figure it out, y'all. I'll be back. Okay guys, moving on to our dead of rice. Okay, as you can see, I've got my beef all cooked up. Let me cut my heat down a little bit. I've got my beef all cooked up. I ain't y'all ain't have to see me cook the beef. Y'all know how to do that. But alright, so I got my beef all cooked up. Just a small pack of beef. Um, just depends on how much meat you want in your dirty rice. I like more rice than meat. Um, so I just did a little small pack of beef. And as you guys can see, I've got it all cooked up, all nice and browned up. Now, for my seasons, however you want your, however you like your dirty rice. Me, I like my dirty rice with a little spice. Uh, so we've got some roasted garlic herb. Make sure y'all can see that. That's the Weber roasted garlic herb. Just sprinkling a little bit of that in there. Just a little bit of that in there. Uh, I'd say, I don't know, for measurement. I'm putting some ground black pepper in here. Uh, let me see. I think that's about a tablespoon of each. We got our ground salt. Not too much salt. We don't want it salty. We don't want too much. Just a little bit of salt. And the main thing is our Weber New Orleans Cajun seasoning. Make sure y'all can see that. New Orleans Cajun seasoning. There it is. Yep. Get this open. I just got this the other day from Publix. If y'all saw my Publix haul. Alright. This is the main thing. So. Alright. Let's get some of that in there. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit in there. And then I'm going to get everything all mixed up and I'm gonna taste it and see how it tastes as you can see I did not drain my beef I did not drain the oil from my beef no baby you gotta keep that for the dirty rice hey I'm just talking about how I cook my dirty rice ain't talking about nobody else ain't talking about nobody else now I'm just showing y'all how I cook my dirty rice everybody cook how they cook now so I'm just showing y'all how I cook my dirty rice so all right do a little seasons, couple seasons in there. That star is that Cajun season because I like a little spice, a little kick to my dirty rice. I love a little kick to my dirty rice. All right, we got our heat turned down. We cut it down a little bit more. Toss some beef everywhere. All right, so. Get that mixed up real good. I'm gonna taste it and see how it tastes. If I need to add anything. Okay. Yeah, I need to add a little bit more of the occasion. A little bit more. Make it a little bit more spicy. Make sure y'all can see. Okay, yeah. We need a little bit more of that. And we need a little bit more garlic herb. A little bit more of that. Okay. All right. So let's get it mixed up. Cook my seasons right in the meat, so your meat all nice and seasoned. Get that mixed up. Oh yeah. And remember. I leave my um, juice from my meat. I do not drain the oil, the um, the oil from my beef. Now, normally I would, but when I'm cooking dirty rice, I don't. I keep it. I keep my oil from the beef when I'm cooking dirty rice. You'll see why. You'll see why I keep it. All right. Let's see. Let's see how we tasting now. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's perfect. I don't want to make it too spicy. Y'all know my girls, they like spice. I don't want to make it too spicy though. Too spicy. Alright, so we got our beef done. 
Let me move y'all over to the rice. The rice is over here waiting. Got a little beef. I got to clean my stove up. Y'all know. Y'all know I got to clean my stove up. So let me sit y'all right here. This is our rice. That's that quick five minute rice. Y'all know I love that rice. Nice quick five minute rice. Right. Get my stove cleaned off. I don't know. I can't be. I can't be cooking around no dirty stove. I can't do it. I'm just talking about me. I can't do it. I'm a little too OCD for that. All right. So y'all see our rice. Let me go ahead and get that rice fluffed up for y'all. That's that quick five minute rice. Boil your water. Throw your rice in. Remove it from the heat. Cover it up. Five minutes later, you got some nice fluffy rice. Ooh, I love it. Five minute rice, baby. Five minute rice, because I ain't got all day. I do not have all day. I'm just keeping it real. Get that rice picked up. Get that rice all nice and fluffy. All right, so we got our rice all stirred up. Now, we're going to add the beef to the rice. Keeping the juices, keeping all that good, all that good fatty oil, baby. I'm keeping all of that. <laughs> I'm keeping all of that. Sure is. Make sure I get all my seasons. Scraping my pan with my fork. I cannot stand that. But anyway, let's just do it quickly. Let's just do it quickly. All right. So we got all that goodness in there. We got all that goodness in there. Y'all see it? And you're just gonna mix your rice and beef together. And the oils from the beef gets all into the rice. All of that. The rice absorbs all of that, baby. All of that. Mm. Gotta stir it up real good. Take your time and stir it up real good. And see how that ground beef, your white, your rice goes from white to like a uh from that oil from the beef. It gets a little stained look like dirty, like, you know, dirty. That's, that's how the rice get dirty. So if you throw that beef in there with the oil from the beef, what? And just stir it all up, y'all. Make sure you get it all stirred up. All your rice get covered in the beef and the oil from the beef. Yes. Dirty rice. Ooh, that rice looking so dirty. Mm, 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 mm. There's different ways of cooking, and I've seen my family cook it different ways. But this is how I cook mine. Quick and easy. Quick and easy, baby. Y'all know I'm going to get y'all in and out of the kitchen. In and out. Because I ain't got all day. And I'm not going to pretend that I got all day. Because I don't. Got to check on that steak. That steak is smelling real good, y'all. Okay, y'all, we got that nice and mixed up. Look, look, look at that. I got to taste it, y'all. Mm. Let me taste it. That's hot. Woo, give y'all that ASMR. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, I'm good eating right there. Mm, 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 mm. Daddy rice. And it's daddy, too. Mm, it tastes so good. All right, y'all, that's the daddy rice. Let's move on. All right, guys. I just pulled the steaks out of the oven. I wanted y'all to see them nice, hot, and fresh straight out of the oven. Oh, yes. Ooh, y'all know I'm taking y'all in. Y'all greedy people. Ooh, get the people what they want. Oh, yes. I'm taking y'all in. Y'all got to see. Y'all got to see the goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Yep. Cook for about 20 minutes. I cooked them on one side for 10 minutes, flipped them over, and let them cook for the other 10 minutes. 20 minutes because, you know, they are thicker steaks. Steaks usually don't take that long, but y'all see these thick steaks. I just wanted to come and show y'all just in case I forget to show y'all. Or just in case I come back and y'all see half of the steak missing. That means I ate it, but I just wanted to come show y'all the steaks before anything happened to the steaks. So, <laughs> all right, y'all. Just wanted to come and give y'all a good look at those steaks. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on y'all. Y'all see the grand finale. Y'all see the grand finale. I just did the dirty rice, showed y'all that. Let's move on to this mac and cheese. 
All right, y'all, let's move on. Let's keep it moving. Let's get the mac and cheese done. Just showing y'all a little quick way to do your mac and cheese. You know, I do my mac and cheese so many ways. I mean, there's so many ways of fixing mac and cheese. So, uh, so I'm just showing y'all one of my quick, easy ways. Y'all know how I do. I'm going to get you in and out. So, all right, so we got, got our noodles here. I'm going to do like a nice spoonful of butter. I don't want to do too much butter. I don't want to do too much. Too much butter makes it oily. I don't want to do too much. Because you know butter ain't nothing but oil. So, I got that butter in there. I want them noodles to go ahead and melt that butter on up for me. Get that mixed up. I like working with my noodles when they're hot. You know, and they're nice and hot. So, they're going to go ahead and melt that butter down for me. Stir that up. Make sure y'all can see. All right, we're going to stir that on up. That butter going to get them noodles all nice and loosened up. All right. I've made mac and cheese on my channel before, but y'all know me. I'm going to just keep filming what I cook. So, sometimes I may cook something over again. Oh, well. All right. So, yeah. Getting that butter all mixed up in there. All mixed up. Mm-mm-mm. Yep, see the, the heat from the noodles melts the butter right on up. Alright, so I want to make sure I get my butter all mixed in real good. Make sure, I like to make sure all my butter melted. Make sure all my butter is nicely melted. My noodles are nicely coated with the butter. And I like using this clear bowl so I can see everything. Because I need to see. When it comes out of my mac and cheese, I need to see what's going on. Do I got enough milk? Do I got enough cheese? Do I got enough? That, that's just how I am. So, all right. So, let's go ahead and get my milk in. Um, Y'all know how it is. You just eyeball stuff. That's about a cup of milk. I'm going to get that mixed in with my noodles. And it ain't no math, genius, science to this. You just, I just, this is just how I do it. This is my quick way of doing it. That's about a cup of milk. Put it in any order you want, child. You want to do the eggs first, you want to do, child, just put your stuff in there. That's just how I do it. So, got my egg. One egg, I'm doing two eggs, y'all. Two eggs. This, is, this isn't a big pan of mac and cheese. I mean, it's a medium pan of mac and cheese, but it's not a huge pan of mac and cheese. So, two eggs is good enough. You know, your eggs is what holds your mac and cheese together. You need your eggs. Your eggs is what holds that mac and cheese together. But, you know, we don't want it to be too together because, you know, we need that cheese. Make it all creamy and melty. So, I just put two eggs. This is a nice, um, make sure y'all can see. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be a nice little medium pan of uh, mac and cheese. Okay. So, looks like I got enough milk in there. Let me see. Finish getting them eggs stirred in there. All right, so let's add our cheese. Remember, I've got three bags of shredded Sargento cheese. Oh, yes, baby. Let's get these two stirred in. Oh, yes, baby, because we like we like cheesy mac and cheese. Don't give me a whole bunch of noodles and a little bit of cheese. Mm -mm -mm. We like our mac and cheese cheesy. Cheesy, baby. Cheesy. Mac and cheese. Don't be giving me all them noodles. Mm-mm, baby. We got to have the cheese. We got to have cheese. Stop playing. Little bit of noodle, little bit of cheese and all them noodles. Uh-uh. No, baby. I need the cheese. We need the cheese. We need the cheese. Just mixing that all in, y'all. Ooh, they look good. Make sure y'all can see. Ooh, y'all see it. Mixing it all in. Nothing serious, nothing special. Just my little quick mac and cheese. My little quick mac and cheese. All right, now let me get my little salt, little pepper. Just a little salt, little pepper. What we got? Got my ground pepper. Little pepper in there. All right. My little ground salt. All right. Salt and pepper. And you know. 
You want to fancy it all up and do all that other stuff, other seasons, that's fine. I do that sometimes too. But today we're doing a nice quick mac and cheese today. A little salt, a little pepper, baby. That's all we got time for today. A little salt, a little pepper. A little salt, a little pepper. You can add your little paprikas and all the rest of them. The paprikas and the lashikas and the babikas and all them other ones. Y'all can add all that. It's just a simple, quick mac and cheese. And it tastes delicious. Tastes delicious. I believe sometimes the, my girls like the quick mac and cheese uh, better than the ones that take me a little longer to make. But hey, it don't matter. Alright, so we see how we got that all mixed up. Make sure we get our salt and pepper all mixed up. I'm going to make sure you get everything mixed up. Alright, I'm going to add that third bag of cheese. Yes, I am. Cheesy, baby. Cheesy. And I'm going to add a little bit more milk. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. That's, that's about half a cup. It's about half a cup. Don't add too much milk now. Don't add too much milk. You put too much milk, you're going to see it. You're going to know you put too much milk in there. Been there and done that. You're going to know. So don't put too much. Don't put too much. All right, y'all. I don't want this to be a long video. It's already looking long as it is. So, all right. I'm going to finish mixing this up. I'm going to pan this up. Put it in the oven for about a good 25 to 30 minutes on 350 degrees. I'm not covering my mac and cheese. I don't cover my mac and cheese. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But today, we not, baby. All right. I'll be back. And I'll be back to show y'all the grand finale. All right. Here's our grand finale. I just took that mac and cheese fresh out the oven. It's nice and hot. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in to the macaroni and cheese. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Taking y'all right into it, still bubbling. That's that quick macaroni and cheese, honey. And it tastes like, and it tastes like you're cooked that you've been fixing it all day. Like you've been prepping it all day. Yes. Macaroni and cheese, delicious. Mm. Yep, that's the macaroni and cheese, y'all. Take y'all back there to that dirty rice. Ooh, that dirty rice. You already talked about that rice. That rice is filthy back there. Mm, mm, mm. And let's take y'all over to the, ooh, I showed out on them grilled barbecue steaks. Mm, mm, look at parsley, chop parsley, please, parsley. Anyway, y'all, it's, it's, the, it's the grilled barbecue steaks for me. <laughs> And the parsley child, he be killing me. He be killing me. All right, y'all. That's the grilled barbecue steaks, macaroni and cheese, and dirty rice. Oh, that's old school Sunday dinner right there. Oh, that's the dinner you come home from having a nice hallelujah service in church. And you come home and get nice and full and go to sleep. <laughs> yes, this the kind of meal this is right here. After church Sunday's best. All right, y'all. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge, oh yes, is power. Bye.